Hello, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, and you? Excellent. I'm just doing well, thank you. So how was your weekend, Arturo? Oh, pretty good. Okay, nice. Did you do anything special? Um, not. Just staying home. I'm staying home. Okay, that's nice. Very good. And how about the platform? Working platform. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. Yes. So, what section are you in? Uh, section five. Five. Section five already. Wow. Fine four. Okay, excellent. That's nice, Arturo. Thanks. Hello, Jasmine. How, How are, are you? you? Oh, so uh, my weekend yeah. was good. Um, well, I went out for a little time. Just um, I visited some of my relatives because it was my uncle's birthday. So yeah, we gathered. We met for a while so it was good great yes so jasmine how are you and you do you hear me and yes now i can hear you so i'm glad to hear that you're fine um, how was the weekend? That's fine, teacher. That's fine. Um, this afternoon I was, yeah, that this afternoon I was working in platform. I am okay. in um, 3.12. All right, that's nice. Pretty good. Okay, and how about Isabel? How are you, Isabel? Okay, Isabel's gone. And Jason says he doesn't have a microphone or a camera today, okay? But don't worry, it's fine. Um, hi, Mauricio. Good evening, Lorena. Good evening. How are you? How are you? I'm fine, and you? Hi. Okay, I excellent. Hi. Bye. Nice. That's great. How was uh, the weekend? What? How what? was the weekend? Oh, just working? Yeah, I'm doing too many things at home. Yes, I can imagine. Yes. I saw someone came to to how do you say to paint my my stove. And okay. Was all day was mm. doing that and I and was I oh was yeah helping with all of the things that she needs. Oh, yeah, pretty busy weekend then. Yes. yes. Good evening, Carla. Good evening, Carla Cerritos. How are you? Excellent. I'm doing well too. Thanks. And how about the platform? Have you been able to reach section three at least? Yes. 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 Y
Todos vamos en la sección 3 o adelante. How are we doing with that? I'm, I'm in section five. Okay, you're in section five, Arturo two. Nice. Jasmine says she's also in section four, I think. And how about the others? Mauricio, did you have any time to work in the platform? Yes, yes, I work in the platform. And okay. In the section four? four section two. four. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, nice. How about the problem? I can I can print the certificate or um yes download. you cannot do it yet. Eh, perdón, se escucha entrecortado, entonces disculpen, me estoy teniendo problemas de conexión desde, desde la clase anterior, entonces creo que estamos algo mal con el internet, pero eh, a ver, Mauricio, no se puede entonces descargar aún el, el certificado, me dice, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. Thank you. So, yes, they say that this week it's going to be available maybe on Thursday or Friday. Me han dicho que ahora en la tercera semana iba a estar eh, disponible. Me imagino que si aún no está, será ahí por el jueves o viernes que ya va a estar. Pero igual, si ya eh, completaron al menos el 80%, al final de esta semana deberían de tener acceso al diploma. Igual, ¿verdad? Animarles a seguir hasta llegar al 100%, que eso sería lo mejor para todos, ¿ok? All right. Ok. So let's start with the class. Porfa, si de pronto no me escuchan. Sé que de repente se oirá algo entrecortado porque como les digo, estoy teniendo problemas. Me avisan, porfa, ahí en el chat o in, incluso en WhatsApp. Voy a estar pendiente, porfa. Eh, me dicen para que no, bueno, que nos podamos entender lo mejor posible, ¿ok? Que no tengamos mucho problema. Ok, teacher. I will right. say. Thank you. So let me see. Oh, this is hard. Okay. Um, bueno, voy a apagar mi cámara. Tal vez eso nos ayude también un poquito, okay? So let's see. We are going to start okay, with dear. a little exercise to remember about the things we studied last week. So remember that the last topic we studied was the locations and the directions, right? right. So what right. do you remember about that? What expressions do we use for telling locations and directions? On the corner of. Okay, on, on the corner of. Any other? Turn the right. Turn to the Turn right. The Mm -hmm. Across the road. Very good. Well, along. Mm -hmm. from. Yes. Turn left on. Excellent. On the right, on the left. Very Was good. Down. Okay. Go straight. Go up or go, go or work cut. Exactly. Go up. Great, so I see you remember them all. Now let's put them into practice with a little listening exercise. So I just sent a map to the chats group. Acabo de enviar al chat un mapa. Vamos a utilizarlo para el siguiente ejercicio. So this is what we are going to do. I am going to read some statements and you are going to decide if they are true or false. Le voy a ir leyendo algunas oraciones. Usted va chequeando en el mapa y me va diciendo si son verdaderas o falsas. If they are true or false, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. All right. So let's try with the first one. We have the jewelry store is behind the Italian restaurant. 
correct? True or false? True. What? Yes, it's true, yes. right? The jewelry store is behind the Italian restaurant. Pretty good. Okay. Next one. The bar is on Second Avenue. The bar is on Second Avenue. False. It's false. false. Where is the bar? False. And then Main uh, Street. Uh, Main Street. Main Street. Main Street. On Main Street and Pine Street. Excellent. Okay. Our next one says. The police station is on the left from fire department. The police station is on the left from fire Correct. department. Right. It's correct. It's true? No. Yes. It's yes. True. Yes. Yes. Right. Let's check it. We have the police station is on the left from fire department. Is it left or right? Oh. Right. The right. Exactly, Lorena. You got it. So it's on the right. Um, okay. Next one. Any questions? Okay. So next one. The toy store is across from the Chinese restaurant. True or false? False. False. True. False. False. The toy store is across from the Chinese restaurant. True. Oh, it's correct. It's true, exactly. It's true. Okay. Uh, okay. Across. Across. Next one yes. we have says the sporting goods store is behind the furniture store, okay? The sporting goods store is behind the furniture the furniture store. True or false? It's false. false. It's false, false, right? Where is the sporting goods store? Next, next to the women's next to the one store. Okay. We must wear. Very good. It's, All right. It's between in the jewelry store and. Um. What was that? And the sparring goods. Okay. Pretty good. All right. So next thing we are going to do. Now I am not going to tell you locations, but I'm going to give you some directions. So there you have a point that says you are here. Tenemos ahí un puntito donde dice you are here. Entonces, de ahí yo lo voy a ir dirigiendo para que nos vayamos moviendo en el mapa. En, al final, yo le voy a preguntar dónde estamos. Vamos a ver si llegamos al lugar que esperamos, ¿ok? So let's try it. It says, take the first street on the left. Take the first street on the left. Then take the next street on the right. Take the next street on the right. Go straight on and cross the road. Go straight on and cross the road. It's on the left. Where are we? Police station. The police station. Mm -mm. No, we are not at the police book. station. Book is the bookstore. Okay. The bookstore. Not really. Again. Okay. Let's start over again. We have take the first street on the left. Take the first street on the left. Then. Take the next street on the right. Take the next street on the right. Go straight on and cross the road. Go straight on 
and cross the road. It's on the left. It's on the left. Where is it? Or what place is it? Uh, memorial memor memor Drive. Okay, Memorial Drive or... We haven't gotten to the place. Okay, one more time, one more time, listen. So it says, take the first street on the left. Tomamos la primera calle a la izquierda, right? Yes. Okay. And then take oh, the next street on the right. Mm. Luego tomamos la siguiente calle a la derecha. And we are on Pine Street, Pine right? Street. Ahora estamos en Pine Street. Okay. Then mm. go straight on yes. and cross the road. Pine. Nos vamos recto y cruzamos la calle. And then it says that it's yeah, on the left. Y tenemos el lugar a la izquierda, on the left. Sure. What place Look, is or, it? The uh, furniture. Department? No, no, no. Uh, no, furniture. Yes, yeah. it's furniture. a furniture, okay? Okay, pretty good. Yeah. Les voy a dejar el día de mañana el link para estos ejercicios. Si de pronto tienen ahí algún tiempecito eh, para practicar, pues perfecto, ¿ok? Okay, now okay. let me just let me just get my presentation. Okay, it seems I cannot get it. Estoy tratando de compartir la presentación y no puedo. And let me try again. So anyways, we are going to start by practicing the conversation because today we're going to study a little bit about the simple past. So let's go right away to the platform. So there we are. Let's listen to today's lesson objective, first of all. And we're going to also listen to a conversation. Let me just send a conversation to the chat in case you cannot see it pretty well in the, on the screen. Um, les voy a compartir la conversación también en el chat por si acaso no la podemos ver muy bien en la pantalla, okay? So listen and follow along. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice okay. a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, pretty good. So do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? No. No, teacher. No questions? No question. Okay, pretty nice. So now let's practice it. Do I have two volunteers to read the conversation? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mauricio. So that is Mauricio and Lorena, right? Okay, pretty good. Mauricio, you can start. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. I did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? 
Well, on Saturday, it's hard to hide in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean the, clean the laundry and shop. And then I beat my pride. So what did you you do on Sunday? I signed for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. Just watch the television all weekend. <laughs> okay, pretty good. Thank you, Lorena and Mauricio. You're welcome. Okay, do we have any other pair to read the conversation? Me, me. That is Roberto. Ken? Yes, it's you. Who else? Let's see. Teacher. Jasmine. Okay, thank you, Jasmine and Roberto. You can start now. Roberto, go ahead. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I well, I had a busy weekend and I am feel I feel a little bit tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercise in the morning, then my roommate um, I clean it with laundry and this and the shop, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied. I studied for the test all day. Oh no! Do we have a test today? Did I did a study? I just watched t television all weekend. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Jasmine and Roberto. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, so now I need you to repeat, please. Busy. 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 Tired. 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 Exercised. 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 Roommate. 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 Cleaned, cleaned, shopped, didn't, didn't, watched, 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 television, television. Okay, pretty good. So now let's identify all the, the past forms that we have here in the conversation. So what past forms do we, do we find? ¿Cuáles serían las formas en pasado que encontramos? And did you have Wash it. Did you have okay. Exercise. So we have exercise. Watched. Exercised. We can wash it. Cleaned. Clean it. Clean it. Chop it. Had. Chop it. Chopped. Had. Had. Visit. Had. Mm -hmm. We have studied. Why? Studied. Didn't study too. And. Visit, right? Visit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just um, the word tired, it is not a verb, okay? El, la palabra tired no se toma dentro del pasado porque no es un verbo, es un adjetivo. I feel a little tired. Me siento un poco cansado, right? Tired, cansado. No es una acción, no es, una, eh, no es un verbo, es un adjetivo, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, first of all, let me just tell you a little bit about the pronunciation for the, the regular past verbs. Les voy a adelantar un poquito de la pronunciación. Luego vamos a verlo más a detalle y vamos a ir practicando un poquito más. Pero nada más para que nos hagamos una idea de lo que son los verbos en pasado, los que terminan en ed y cómo pronunciarlos. 
Um, tenemos tres tipos distintos de pronunciación. We have three different sounds. So the first one would be like a d, d. El primero suena más o menos como una D. Entonces va como d, d. Like, like studied, studied. Studied. Cleaned, cleaned. Clean. 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 Okay, tenemos el verbo es entonces cleaned. Al final el sonido tendría Clean. que ser esa ed como una d, ¿no? Cleaned. D. Cleaned. Clean. Okay, then the Clean. next sound we have is t. t. El otro sonido es como una t. Eh, por ejemplo, en exercised. 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 And watched. Exercise. Watched. What? 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 Watch. Okay. What? And we also have a third sound. Tenemos un tercer sonido que sería como id. Como en el caso de visited. 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 Okay. Entonces tenemos esas tres terminaciones. Poco a poco con la práctica vamos a ir aprendiendo eh, cómo suena cada uno de los verbos. Pero sí, tener en mente que tenemos las tres terminaciones. D, t, and it. Ok, now repeat please. Had. 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 Exercised. Exercised. Cleaned. 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 Did. 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 Shopped. 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 Visited. 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 Studied. 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 Didn't study. Didn't study. Watched. 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 Okay, pretty good. So now let's see, we are going to check the structure of a sentence in the simple past. Ahora vamos a hablar entonces de la estructura de las oraciones en el pasado. Um, can you see my presentation now? ¿Pueden ver la presentación? Está borrosa, teacher. Really? Let me, let me try sharing it again. Okay, is it better now? Yes. Mm. A little. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe. maybe now? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Okay, better. perfect. I see you. Okay, Good. so we are going to start by talking about the negative statements. Um, usualmente cuando estudiamos un tiempo gramatical empezamos con el afirmativo, ¿verdad? Pero en esta ocasión quiero iniciar con los negative statements porque eh, sería como la forma más fácil de, del pasado. Creo que el afirmativo okay. sí requiere un poquito más de práctica, entonces vamos a hacerlo en este orden. So, um, in order to make negative statements, you, first of all, you need a subject, right? As we always do, we use I, she, they, Mary, Jacob, or just whatever person or thing we are talking about. Then we add the did not. Or we can also use the contracted form, which is didn't, right? Did not or didn't. After the didn't or did not, we add the verb in the present. Hay que agregar también el verbo en el presente. Esto es muy importante. ¿Por qué lo agrego en el presente? Porque estoy indicando el pasado con el did not o didn't. Entonces, ya sabemos que cada que encontremos la palabra did, o en todo caso el negativo did not or didn't, Estamos hablando de una acción en el pasado. 
Es por eso que ya no requerimos un verbo en pasado, porque entonces sería doble pasado, ¿verdad? So, just use the verb in the present. And after that, you just need a complement. Here I have some examples. I did not go out last weekend. I did not go out last weekend. Or she didn't eat pasta on Friday. She didn't eat pasta on Friday. Or they did not work last week. They did not work last week. Do you have any questions about this? Is it clear? All clear. All clear, excellent. So how about you make some examples, some other examples? Let me hear them. I did not go to the church. Yes. Okay, excellent, Lorena. I did not go to the church. Another example? I did. I did play soccer. I didn't play soccer. Okay, very good, Arturo. The last hour. And it grape i didn't eat grapes was excellent uh -huh. yes Great. grapes excellent noemi any other example i didn't um, visit my parents i didn't visit my parents excellent my daughter can you repeat that please my daughter didn't watch television. Okay, excellent. My daughter didn't watch television. No, watch the dishes. Oh, wash the dishes, sorry. Okay. I think I... okay, do we have another example? I didn't read the book. But... I did. Mm -hmm. But I watched watched television. Very good. Okay, nice. So that's how we use the negative for the simple past, right? Just remember, I did not or didn't. And the verb is always in the present, in its base form. El verbo siempre en presente. No le agregamos ed, no lo cambiamos a ing. Ni nada, simplemente en la base form, ¿ok? All right, so now it's time to practice. Let me see if I can get the sentences. Here, I have a fill in the blanks exercise for you to do it. I need you to open your chats tab. And we are going to write it there. So, I'm going to be reading each of the sentences and you are going to complete them by filling in the blanks with the negative simple past. For example, the first one, she buy a new car. Vamos a ir escribiendo las oraciones en el chat. Voy a ir leyendo una por una y vamos completándola con el negativo y enviándola ahí en el chat. So let me no importa see. si la escribimos mal. No, don't worry. No importa. Acá yo la voy a ir diciendo también en su forma correcta y voy a ir mencionando tal vez algún, alguna cosa que, que debamos corregir, pero no se preocupen. Es en general, ¿ok? So, don't sí. worry. Let's start with the first sentence. She buy a new car. Tenemos que utilizar el didn't. Yes, yes, please. Yes. You have to use the <laughs> did not or didn't, okay? All right, so we have Hola. she didn't buy a new car. Very good, Jasmine. Very good, Noemi. 
Oh, no, let me change it into no. the negative. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ahorita lo corrijo. Okay. Lorena, pretty good. Excellent, Ana Ruth. Joshua, you got it too. Arturo, you need to write the sentence. Escribimos la oración completa. Oh, okay. Shoot. Now it's fine, Noemi. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, pretty good. So that's what we are going to be doing. Just let me tell you about two important things. The first one is that we start the sentences with a capital, a capital letter, okay? Todas las oraciones, al igual que en español, las iniciamos con letra mayúscula. La primera letra de una oración siempre, siempre va a ser mayúscula. Then we have the didn't, right? Buy a new car. And also at the end of the sentence, we need a period. También es importante que al final de la oración escribamos el punto. Entonces dos cositas. The capital letter, la mayúscula inicial. And at the end, you need the period. Y al final, igual, necesitamos el puntito. Okay, so let's continue with the next sentence. We have number two. They play tennis on Sunday. They play tennis on Sunday. Very good, Jasmine. Excellent, Ana Ruth. Very good, Lorena. Very good, Joshua. Nice, Noemi. Very good, Arturo. Just remember the capital letter and the period. Recordemos la letra inicial mayúscula y el puntito también. Very good, Carla. Very good, Alejandra. Okay. So we have, they did not or didn't play tennis on Sunday, right? Now let's practice with number three. We have, Sue, go to school. Great, Ana Ruth. Very good, Jasmine. Excellent, Carla. Very good, Joshua. Nice, Mauricio. Laura, you got it too? Great. So we have Sue didn't go to school or Sue did not go to school. Number four, I call him. Excellent, Lorena. Very good, Carla. I did not call him or I didn't call him, right? Excellent, Jasmine, Ana Ruth, Carla, Joshua. Nice, Alejandra. Okay, now let's move to number five. He sell his house. Great, Jasmine. Very good, Carla. Excellent, Lorena. Very good, Roberto. Excellent, Joshua. Okay, very good, Noemi. And Nestor too, great. Next one, number six. Tom, drink some juice. Nice, Lorena. Very good, Jasmine. Very good, Roberto. So we have Tom didn't drink some juice or Tom did not drink some juice, right? 
Just be careful. Recuérdese que el didn't no lleva e, ¿ok? Cuidado con cómo escribimos didn't. Didn't. ¿Ok? Ok, next one. We have we listen to the news on the radio. Very good, Jasmine. Excellent, Lorena and Ana Ruth. Very good, Arturo. Nice, Joshua. Okay, another thing to keep in mind is that if we use didn't, we do not need any nuts, okay? Si usa didn't, ya ahí lleva el negativo, ¿verdad? Recordemos que esa palabra es para las dos, did not. Entonces ya no necesitamos agregar nuevamente el not. Solo didn't o si va a utilizar la forma completa, did not. Ok, the last sentence. Justin and Ryan write a letter to their mom. Nice, Lorena, Jasmine, and Ana Ruth. How about the others? Very good, Arturo. Nice, Joshua. Very good, Roberto. Very good, Mauricio. No, don't worry. Okay, so we have Justin and Ryan didn't write a letter to their mom, or Justin and Ryan did not write a letter to their mom. Pretty good. Okay, so to continue practicing, I have another exercise. It's an unscramble the sentence exercise. So here I have some scrambled sentences. I need you to put them in, this, in the right order, okay? For example, number one, we have I, breakfast, the period, have, and didn't. So can you make a sentence out of that? I didn't have breakfast. Exactly, I, I didn't have breakfast. Very good, so that's what you have to do. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms in pairs or groups of three, and you are going to have some time to unscramble the sentences. If you'd like to, you can write them, and otherwise you can just um, make them orally, okay? Eh, van a ir ordenando cada una de las oraciones. Si gustan, pueden escribirlas. Y si no, pues igual practican oralmente, como ustedes deseen, ¿ok? So, let me just send you to the breakout rooms, and I'm also sending a picture to the chat, so you can have the sentences. Ok, so please accept the invitation. Yes, it's a correct order of the word. Okay. Uh, the first is um, uh, the first is I didn't have breakfast. It's correct. I didn't not. I did not. I, or or I didn't have. I didn't a, eat. I didn't have. I didn't have breakfast. Have breakfast. Didn't have a breakfast. Okay. Breakfast. First. Okay, the second. 
Seven. Or second. Then it's Susan by Baker, Brad, Nat, Hat. What? Susan didn't, didn't, or didn't not. Susan didn't not. Susan did not. Hi girls, how are you doing? Good teacher, I cry the answer sentences. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? So far so good? We good, think. Okay, nice, continue working. Thank you teacher. Okay, number four, Christian didn't. Buy a new guitar. One, Christian didn't buy a new guitar. Christian didn't buy a new guitar. Next one. Uh, we didn't we didn't wash the car. The bar on Saturday. A lot of questions. Porque después de students y el didn't debería de ir el verbo. Ay, es cierto. Es que esta frase, ¿qué significa? As Ay, ah, entonces tiene razón. Más pedir. Y la siguiente sería. Cristian. Cristian. Giden. Giden buy a new guitar. Siguiente sería We didn't We didn't Christian. wash um, she, Christian Christian did did not buy didn't buy didn't and you get uh -huh, didn't didn't buy a new guitar. Christian. Christian didn't. Didn't. Didn't buy. Didn't buy. N new guitar. A ah, new guitar. A new. Yes. Okay. Five. 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 Um, we, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't wash the car on Saturday. We didn't. We didn't wash. We didn't. We didn't wash the car. Wash. The car yes. on Saturday. On Saturday, yes, yes, yeah, you have right, yes. We didn't watch. Watch. Watch car. Watch car. 
on Saturday. Yeah. And number six, Fiona. Fiona did not. Fiona did not did visit. Not visit her. their grandmother. Fiona did not visit did not her visit, visit to her to her grandma. Fiona Her and grandma. Any, any questions? Number seven. Oh. In the number, teacher, I have a question. In the another yeah. six. Mm -hmm. Number six. Uh, it says uh, grandma and her. Yes. Habla de la abuela de ella, algo así queda en español. Yeah, exactly. Her grandma, abuela. su abuela, de Fiona, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Seven. Okay, you're welcome. And we did not. We did. We did, did not examine. Bueno, la sección 4 y 5, la verdad es que... No, ahorita estoy en casa porque estoy incapacitado, así que voy a aprovechar de hacer ah, todo lo que pueda en el día. Sí, porque entre tarde y estaba escuchando que decían, ya voy, no sale mi, mi, mi diploma y yo... Hi, girls, sí, pero sabe por qué no Yes. You're done. Any questions? No question, teacher. No question. Okay. Pretty good. It was easy, right? Yes. Yes. Mm. All right. Nice. So we're going to be back in just a minute, okay? Okay. Fiona, no, ahí está her. Ella. Ahí lo ponemos antes de grandma. Fiona. Dice de her grandma. Uh -huh. Her grandma. Uh -huh. Sí, su, ajá, su abuela. Su, uh -huh. sí. su abuela. Ya. Yeah. Y la siete es We didn't do exam uh, last week. Uh -huh. Y la otra. Y la otra es eh, ¿no? you. Mándeme. Aquí le puso an, an exam, ¿verdad? Do. We did a... uh -huh. Si no funciona, podría tomar una captura de lo que ha trabajado y una captura de lo que le aparece en las barras y mandárselo a la uh -huh. chica para que ya lo reporte. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, porque yo lo he ido guardando en Word y todo lo que he ido trabajando. Pero cuando fui al registro del curso y tanto que me he desvelado y no parece nada. Bueno, sigamos con las oraciones. ¿Tiene que ni help? ¿Perdón? Yes. Eh, estoy por acá, si necesitan algo de ayuda, alguna duda por ahí. Ah, teacher. Yes, tell me. No, pero yo con la plataforma. Tiene en las problemas. preguntas estamos bien. Fíjese que eh, trabajé todo el punto 2. Bueno, no dormí ayer perfeccionando esto. Y resulta que cuando voy a revisar progreso para ver cuánto ha crecido la barra, como ya lo terminé, uh -huh. no parece nada. Pero el, al revisar la plataforma, ¿le puedo compartir? Sí, claro, adelante. Este, no sale nada. Vamos a ver, compartir. Quiero ver si me deja. Te voy a dar un clic. Así que no me deja. Aquí. 
Ok, eh, no sé si lo está mirando ahorita. Sí, ahora sí. Vaya, entonces vengo yo, eh, está aquí terminado el punto 2. Uh -huh. Voy a progreso, que es donde veo todo lo que he trabajado. Ay, ahora sí, o sea que esta pobre estaba saturadísima entonces. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ya, sí, ya le sale entonces. Ya me tenía en su peso, hasta sudando el lado estaba yo ya. Porque no, digo yo, ahora avanzo con el punto 3, mañana el punto 4 y me, me pongo en regla con el 5, digo yo. Así lo llevo porque como he estado trabajando en otras muchas cosas. Comprendo. Ya estaba tensa. <risa> Ay, qué emoción. Sí, pero entonces ya, ya estamos bien, ¿verdad? Sí, thank you, Perfecto. teacher. Perfecto. Ok, sí, cualquier cosa. Cualquier cosa, avísenme. Sí. Igual yo soy pendiente del chat eh, en todo el día, pues ahí me pueden escribir y yo, yo reporto en todo caso cuando tenemos problemas. Oiga. Ay, excelente. Okay. Sí, me tenía preocupada porque, bueno, yo de todas maneras voy guardando en Word todo lo que voy haciendo, las oraciones para que me sirvan de ejemplo después. Muy bien. Porque si no, a la hora llegada se me olvida qué pasó. Oh, yeah, it's a nice thing. You have some some material to study, right? Yes, teacher. Review. Okay, nice. So we're getting to the main session in just a couple of seconds, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. All right, welcome back. Did you all finish with the exercise? Yes? Yes, yes. yes okay. teacher. Okay, um, so first of all, do you have any questions? Any doubts about any of the sentences? No. No, no? everything's clear? Yes. Yeah. Great. Okay, so we are just going to take a minute or two to check. So we have number one, I didn't have breakfast, right? Number two, Lorena? Susan didn't buy bread at the bacon street. Exactly, thank you. Number three, Roberto? The student didn't, did not ask a lot of questions. Okay, very good. The students did not ask a lot of questions. Ask, ask a lot, lot of questions, yes. Okay, excellent, Roberto, thank you. Ana Ruth, yeah. can you tell me number four, please? Christian did, didn't buy a new guitar. Great, Christian didn't buy a new guitar. Guitar. Uh, Number five, Jasmine. Um, we didn't wash uh, the car on Saturday. Excellent. We didn't wash the car on Saturday. Number six, Carla Enriquez. Fiona did not visit her grandma. Great. Thank you. Number seven, Mauricio. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. We did not do an exam last weekend. Very good. We did not do an exam last week. And the last one, Laura. You didn't read the newspaper yesterday. Excellent. You didn't read the newspaper yesterday. Okay, pretty well. You did a great job. 
So that will be all for today's session. Thank you very much for participating and for your attention. Take care and have a good night. Have a good night. night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody.